Hey, what's going on, Dynamic Train family? Thanks for checking back into the channel. Today's video, I've got a full body ladder workout for you. I just got done with the workout. I'm absolutely sweaty and disgusting, but I wanted to make this video for you guys, okay? This is gonna take you 20 to 30 minutes. It's a full body workout. So we're gonna have some upper body, some lower body, some footwork, and some full body movements all in one. All right, not all of us have access to a gym every day or uh, fancy equipment every day, so with this, all you need is a ladder. Whether you tape it on the ground, you chalk it out, or you actually have a physical ladder, that's all you need for this workout. So pull out that ladder, let's get to it. All right, so this first exercise is a full body movement. We are doing six reps of mountain climbers into a push-up sprawl. Six reps, mountain climbers, three each leg, push-up, snapping those feet up. When you snap your feet up, your chest comes up simultaneously at the same time we go back into the next rep. Okay, all of that is one rep. I need you to give me 10 reps here. This will absolutely light up your core, shoulders, full body. Next up, we got our lateral high plank walks. Okay, so we're in a push-up position or a high plank position. Back is flat, hips are down, keeping that core engaged, and then we are walking, okay? One hand into one square, and then both hands come together. So we take one step out, both hands together. One step out, both hands together. We're moving up and down this ladder, working our upper body and our core all at the same time. You know what they say, if you're not sweaty, you're not ready. All right, now we're moving over to footwork exercises. We're gonna lead with the, with the right leg first. So right, left in, right, left in, moving all the way down the ladder. We're going as quick as we can under control. Don't forget, make sure you do both sides. So leading with the right and leading with the left. Next up, we got a pop squat with a hip flip. Notice I'm flipping my hips, that outside leg snaps into the ladder as we move down, okay? As athletes, it's really important that we're able to twist our hips, that we're able to have good hip mobility. Um, remember, get full depth on these, okay? We're trying to be explosive and powerful. Yes, it's gonna burn, but this is an awesome lower body exercise. Here we go, one of my favorites. We're going plyo wide to close grip push-ups, okay? So wide push-up to close push-up equals one. I need you to give me 10 reps. When I say plyo, it's because you're gonna see that I'm powering myself up off the ground. If you are not able to pop up off the ground with your push-ups, you can walk your hands in for that close grip push-up. Next up, we have alternating jump lunges, okay? A couple things I want you to focus on, making sure that both legs are in a 90 degree angle. So we're dropping that back knee, making an L with both legs. Second thing is notice I am jumping in the air and switching my legs, okay? This makes this movement go from a lunge to more of a plyometric movement, okay? So whichever way you decide to go, you wanna lead with that leg. So I'm going to my left, left leg starts, right leg, and then back. Make sure that both feet go into the same square before we move down into that next square or box, okay? To make this exercise a little bit tougher, try to jump a little bit higher to increase intensity. This is gonna light you up. For our next exercise, we've got good old squat touchdowns, okay? Notice my feet. I bring my feet together inside the ladder. When I pop my feet outside the ladder, I go into a squat position, touching the ground or touching the ladder with opposite hand every single rep. So you're gonna move forward, squat touchdowns all the way down the ladder, then you're gonna go backwards doing squat touchdowns back all the way through the ladder. And we are back to exercise number one, okay? Everything you just did is gonna be one full round. I'm looking for you to get through three rounds. That's why this is gonna take you somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes, depending on your tempo. All right, once you got a feel for it in round one, let's start to increase that intensity, take a little bit less rest in between sets, and let's get after it. That is a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed this little workout for you today. It's a quick hitter, but you know what? Sometimes those are the best ones, all right? If you haven't already, subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, it's all good, but I'm hungry. I got to get up out of here. I'll see you next time.